For these next 30 days, I'm gonna be taking a cold shower every single day. The self-help world's biggest trend, but does it really live up to all of the hype? Oh my gosh. So in order for cold exposure to be effective, there are a few rules of thumb you should follow. And they're going to be the same rules that I have for myself during this entire challenge. Three minutes of cold exposure, with the water hitting primarily on my neck, I need to control my breathing throughout the challenge. This is just so, you know, I don't die and stuff. And I need to warm up naturally after the shower. So that means air drying, no towel or anything like that. But why am I putting myself through this? What are the so-called benefits of this challenge? And why is it such a huge trend? It's said to give mental toughness, increase your brown fat cells in your neck, which help with your temperature regulation, muscle recovery, blood circulation, and of course, alertness. I'm going to be testing out every single one of those proclaimed benefits during this challenge to see if they're real or just all talk. <laughs> Day one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, frick. Starting off the challenge, challenge, ladies and gentlemen, I am frozen. I thought we were past the snow and all the winter crap in Utah. I guess it's just getting started. It was getting warm too, dog. Now all of a sudden it's freaking cold. So it's officially day one of the challenge. It is February 15th. Dude, I don't know why I do these challenges. Like, I really don't. I do cold showers almost every day, basically, but I don't follow these strict guidelines, so I'm not getting the full benefits, and I do them at the end of my shower. Now, I'm doing them at the beginning of my shower, so I'm gonna be freezing my balls off. Day number one, let's start. Oh, let's get this business. Breathing, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. My back is completely numb. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Nipples frozen. <laughs> Day one complete. Oh my gosh. And at this point, I realized how long this 30 days might actually be. Good morning. It is time for another day of cold showers. I'm dreading it today, bro. We're gonna crank this puppy out. I got my swimsuit on. Gosh dang it, dude. I'm too tired for this. And no, the following days were not much better, but you know I tried to remain optimistic. <laughs> also, can we talk about how hard it is to film these challenges? Oh, freak, I almost lost my phone. It still sucks, boss. It still sucks. Holy dude. After I get out of these showers, I'm literally, it's like when I did my 24-hour cold shower challenge. Literally, I just sit here shaking. It's freaking horrible. Body hurts, everything hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know what day it is right now in the challenge, but let me tell you something. I do jujitsu and Muay Thai and stuff like that I've talked about. So yesterday, it's Saturday today. Yesterday, I had jujitsu. And normally on Saturdays, dog, I am feeling horrible. My neck's all sore. I can barely move it. Most of my body hurts, right? I feel good today. And I don't know if it was like an easier practice. I don't know what it was. So it could actually be muscle recovery from the cold showers, which would be freaking insane, bro. I think I'm starting to get a little bit better. Starting to <laughs> slightly adapt to the cold temperatures, but it still definitely sucks ball sack every single day. I think the worst part though, is that I literally dread it for good reason because it freaking sucks. But <laughs> it doesn't feel as cold as it has in the past, but my body still gets very numb. But we're adapting. I'm like a freaking polar bear. <laughs> Time. We're cranking through this challenge, baby. We are freaking cranking through it. It's just, it's, it's so hard. But after every single challenge, like, or after every single day of doing this challenge, I do feel pretty good. Not directly after, but like an hour later, I'm like, let's freaking go. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a small accomplishment, a small win every day, but I'm shaking like a mofo, as always. And this is where things started to take a turn for the better. <laughs> Oh, it feels so good to be done. Oh, let's freaking go. Bro, the like natural high I get on after completing my cold showers, after warming up and feeling good again like a normal human being. Oh, you feel so good, bro. And if you're watching this and you, if you've never taken a cold shower, done any cold exposure in your life, I challenge you, next time you shower, turn it to cold. Even if it's for 30 seconds and you are going to feel literally a whole different person. It's gonna suck balls during it. I'm not saying it's not because, I, dude, I still dread it but 
just try it and see how you feel like four hours later. I promise you, you're gonna feel amazing. Don't do it at night though, because it's gonna keep you up at night. It's a proven fact. So do it in the morning, if anything, but it's so good, bro. Do I wanna do it tomorrow though? Heck no. I do not wanna do it tomorrow, on it? Gosh dang it, bro. I'm, I'm doing like a mental warfare with myself right now. It's like, oh, I feel so good, but I gotta do it again to feel even better. It sucks. So yeah, to say the least, this challenge is so mentally challenging. So mentally challenging. Like the physical, yeah, it sucks ball sack, but it's not really physical it's literally just all my brain not wanting to touch cold water which i think is a normal thing but here's the other problem it's already freaking freezing in my house then i gotta go get in cold water like i haven't even showered or anything today yet i just hopped out of bed <laughs> i'm freaking shivering already oh it's like 60 degrees in my house at all times so yeah that's awesome i get out of the cold shower and it's cold <laughs> oh, this is a hard one bro this is taking every single part of me to continue this it is crazy. This is freaking crazy. Morning, guys. Another day of cold showers. Who would have thought? Oh my gosh, who would have thought when you clicked on, clicked on a video of cold showers for 30 days? It's another cold shower day. It's a snowy one today. It's literally March snow. Like how the frick it's snowing in March, my boy. I mean, Utah. You know what I'm saying? It's Utah. Um, I'm kind of just procrastinating right now. <laughs> that's kind of all that's happening right now. I just really do not want to take this cold shower. Ugh. But you know what I'm gonna see it through. There's this little rule I learned that I've been testing out during this challenge that is actually helping me out a lot, believe it or not. It's called the five second rule. A lot of people know about it. People call that different things. But essentially, all you gotta do is it's about making a movement. So the hardest part for me during this challenge is getting out of bed, knowing that's my next step, going and freaking sitting in that cold shower. So really all you gotta do is count down from five, five, four, three, two, one, and then make a movement. For me, that movement is pulling my covers off of me. Because once my covers are off of me, I don't even want to be in bed anymore. I'm already cold. It already freaking sucks. You know what I'm saying? So it's that first small movement. The movement isn't me after that five seconds hurry and jumping in the shower. It's that one small movement. For some people, it may be taking a step, standing up, whatever it may be. But after you make that small movement, your body's already in motion. And an object in motion stays in motion, scientifically. Once you already made that first movement, which is so easy, right? Oh, I just got to pull the covers off of me. Then your body's naturally going to want to make the rest of the movements to complete the task you want to do. A little mind trick. That's all it is. It's literally just basic psychology. Um, but I've been testing that out. It works decently, as long as I do it. <laughs> uh, but that's what I did today. So I'm out of bed, but I didn't go all the way because I had to grab my camera and I was like, oh, it's snowing and now I gotta show them snowing. You guys don't care about the snow. I'm just procrastinating. <laughs> Let's go cold shower. It's not that far. <laughs> And just like that, 30 days have passed. This might be one of the only challenges out of all of them that I've done that I can actually see results from. So for the first time ever, I guess we can call this a success. So now the question is, when is your first cold shower gonna be? I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. After these challenges, like it's a few hours past now. I've been done with cold showers for like four hours now. I feel fantastic, bro. I literally just feel so freaking good. I feel so fresh. I feel alert normally throughout the day. Dog, I'm tired as nuts. But it's literally just a shock. Like it literally just... <sighs> It's like you're getting electrocuted and you just wake up. So I feel good throughout the day. It's literally just once I get to that point of having to take the shower again, even going to bed at night, it sucks balls knowing that I have to wake up and take a cold shower again. You know what I'm saying? But right now, during this like kind of angelic period in between after my cold shower and before I take my next one, I feel great. I feel so good. Watch this video here. YouTube thinks they're gonna like it. I mean, it is a banger, I won't lie.